G'day. Welcome back to Chuck Chases the Facts, where we do now look at strange things on the internet and YouTube. First of all, I hope that you are all well, that you are all keeping safe during these very troubled times. One rule in this video, which is my first video back after a straight seven days at work, is no talk about my week at work, uh, seven days, 12 hour shifts, has been a little bit stressful. Um, certainly Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday were very, very busy. The rest of the week, week sort of petered off. Um, but nevertheless, I am looking forward to seven days off and creating some videos for your entertainment. During my time at work, though, I was able to keep an eye on YouTube and Facebook and the Internet in general. So looking at all those platforms and different videos, um, this first video um, after my week at work is what I'd like to call a week in review of things that I've spotted. If you are in isolation, have you been up to anything crazy like this couple? That makes me giggle every time I watch it. Um, so have you got the cards out and been playing uh, cards as a family? Have you got the board games out? Been fighting over Monopoly and claiming that words don't exist in Scrabble. As a kid, I was very, very good at chess. Um, checkers, though, never really, never really bothered me. But this version can get me interested. Now, it's a, bit, it's a bit of a weird sort of phrase, but there has been some positives out of uh, the current situation. Uh, Foxtel in Australia, for example, sent a text message out the other day saying, and I quote, to help you while social distancing, you have access to drama, kids, docos, entertainment plus, and multi-screen on us until the 31st of May. Thank you, Foxtel. Very kind of you. Petrol prices, certainly here in Australia, have dropped to a crazy all-time low. Um, my local station I spotted on the way home tonight is selling a litre of uh, ULP, or 91, or the lowest grade of petrol, whatever that is in, in your country. But they're selling that for 89.9 cents a litre. I have never seen that, never. The lowest I've ever seen here in my nine years is a uh, $1.24.9. But one suburb in Sydney, is offering petrol for that's right 49.9 cents a litre now just to put that into perspective for people certainly in America 
that is 33 US cents a litre. I'm not going to convert it to a gallon because I know you sell it by the gallon. Do it yourself. Turning now to YouTube, Degeneration Nation has now offered a public service announcement teaching children who are at home a history lesson on the Moors. Let's just have a quick brief look at that. And there are a few more names that we can put in there, but I think those five are a perfect example. Moving on from that, uh, both uh, TJB and Road Pirate put up a video of an actual Moor or Moroccan person being interviewed in what appears to be Las Vegas. And he explained exactly what a moor is. Let me ask him last question. Yeah. What does the word moor means? What? Okay, moor uh, here you cannot you can I mean, it, it's it's you cannot kind of uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a really complicated it's a very complicated uh, concept. It's a concept. The, 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 I, what, what did you say? It means black. It means it, no, not actually. It, it means a slave. It means it means a slave. That yes. So the word more means slave. Yes, that's right. Ooh, I think that uh, reporter just got owned. So, moving on to a bit of a serious topic. Um, the next video was uh, looks like it was recorded in London somewhere and unfortunately involved the tragic death of a student who was staying with his grandparents. Um, he had planned to go back to university, um, I think the following day or within a couple of days, and he uh, told his grandparents he was just going for a, a little nap before uh, tea time. And whilst he was sleeping, he charged his laptop on his bed. Now, unfortunately, the air from the, the fan uh, couldn't circulate. As a result, the laptop caught fire. He was fast asleep, and um, and tragically, he died. Let's just have a quick look at that. In your house, in the yeah, I know. What happened, bro? We don't no. know. No. What? Uh, what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh man! <sighs> Pat, is no one in there? Huh? No one in there? Get out! Get out! Move! Move! Get out! Please! Get out! Get out! Out! Guys, get out! Get out! Please! Get out! That was very tragic indeed. Uh, the police and uh, fire engines eventually turned up, but of course, sadly, it was too late. But it is a reminder about charging devices, laptops, mobile phones, tablets, etc. Please make sure you charge them on a hard surface and that the, uh, the air can circulate around the fan. Talking of emergency services, um, in tough times, and from personal experience in the police, uh, I've, I've done it many a time, but you need to retain a sense of humour. If you don't, you will go crazy. This next clip is of a nurse who is having a bit of fun and has a very good friend in video editing. 
touch this. Can't you touch this. The government here in Australia have permitted the police to issue on the spot fines for people breaching social distancing guidelines. During a news conference, the Premier of Western Australia, Mark McGowan, was posed a very serious question. There was one gentleman today, or uh, yesterday, I think in New South Wales, who was going for a run, stopped to have a kebab, and then was handed a fine. So, I mean, will they be able to handing out some of the fines in that sense? I'm not sure if you heard the question there. Uh, a gentleman in New South Wales was out for a run, stopped at a kebab shop, and then was issued a fine. Mark McGowan answered the question as best he could. I find it hard to believe someone was going for a run and then stopped to have a kebab. But um, in, any, in any event, they do things differently in New South Wales. Um, look, um, there's, nothing wrong with, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with going for a run. There's nothing wrong with going for a run and having a kebab. <laughs> but, but, I don't think there's anything wrong. We're not, we're not making it unlawful to go for a run and eat a kebab. Uh, it's whether, you, whether you're not, a, you're in a group. As well as health issues with the current problem, shall we say, um, there are others out there with different health issues. Virgo Triad, a very dear friend of all of ours, has not been well recently, uh, and she needed some assistance with uh, getting some medication. So I set up a GoFundMe account, uh, we raised some money and sent it to her. Uh, I also threw in an extra hundred bucks to help out. And hopefully she got the medication and she is well. She's having a rest and will be back on Monday the 6th. My main concern is the comment about the men in white coats. Did those white coats have buckles and extra long sleeves? It seems with uh, self-isolation or uh, being forced to stay, stay at home, a lot of people seem to now have a lot of time on their hands. time on their hands, people have discovered fitness again. And whilst that's great, um, one lady, was a little bit confused. Why is that person running? You okay? What are you What are you doing running? Is someone chasing you? You just just running for fun. Seven o'clock in the morning. Another freebie from the big corporations this week affected me personally. Yes, seven days of unlimited lives. And trust me, I smashed it. Just FYI, I am currently on level 4,213. Okay, that'll do it. This has gone on a bit too long. Two other things I wanted to mention was Van the Man brought out a video of an Australian sovereign citizen. Uh, please check that out. John Wilson, very, very funny. Um, strange man. Uh, also, uh, for those of you working from home or in self-isolation, Check out uh, the Jonathan Pye videos that he's done from home. Very funny. I'll link those in the description. In fact, all the videos will be in the description below. That'll do it. Please uh, hope you're well. Stay well. Stay safe. Um, and I'll see you on the many more videos to come this week. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, that would be very greatly appreciated and share it around with your family and your friends and your enemies. Thanks again. Take care. Good day.